Mountain Equipment Co-op opened in 1971. We opened in Edmonton 19 years ago. We are at the point of expansion for our organization and the old store downtown wasn't sufficiently meeting the needs of the roughly 250,000 uh, people in the Edmonton region. And so last fall we opened our South Edmonton Common Store and uh, we've now been able to move over to this location and uh, we've almost managed to double our size. So it's really more about trying to meet the demands of uh, our outdoor community. So this store is 41,000 square feet or just over that and so our previous store was about 25,000. So not quite doubled it but significant increase which has been great. And that just gives us the extra capacity to have a broader assortment, have a little bit more depth in that assortment and also we've been able to expand our services. Our bike shops and ski shops are quite a bit bigger than they were previously. It's really exciting as we've moved into our new location to have an expanded climbing department. Uh, we are the largest uh, climbing retailer in Canada, so it's great to be able to better service our members for this kind of thing. Within Edmonton, uh, indoor climbing has become really popular and we've been, uh, I would say, underserving it in our market to this point. We're not charging for parking at the new store. It's one of the reasons we think members are quite excited about this move to the new location. We just want to have, be relevant in a larger portion of people's lives as they're going through it life cycle so you know whether they have young families we have a really large kids department now um, you know often they start as teenagers and you know are really excited about getting out climbing paddling and things then they often will go through a time where they have their children they might just be more uh, running and road cycling because it's something they can do quickly from home and then as they get a little bit older and the kids leave home again you know it's probably a little bit softer things that they're doing as far as road tripping but still want to get out and you know uh, visit amazing outdoor spaces